What is up YouTube? Beads here and today I bought a new game SimCity if you guys haven't heard and I absolutely love it I wanted to do a first look video on it show you guys what's going on in this game if you guys didn't know this is a city building game um, and it, the last one I played was SimCity back in like 2004 or whenever it came out SimCity 4 which was a very fun game but uh, this one just takes it to a whole new level after almost 10 years of long waiting they've really come through I've heard lots of great things about this game but I heard some bad things about it in terms of glitches and I feel like most of those have been resolved so right now all I see is good out of this game and I just have gotten way more into this game than I really thought I would right now I have built my town it's called B Town of course my my happy 12,000 citizens and um yeah so far I've been playing this game for about three hours maybe I had to restart my part of my town so that's why I'm not that advanced because I built my roads really crappy I wouldn't use dirt roads if I was you they really hamper you in the long run and how this game works is you start out with an empty square like this like except mine now is obviously populated but I everything here came to fruition thanks to my work and what I've put in through my sims working and what, what how you do it is you pick a zones and each zone represents different types of like life um the green is residential and that's where your sims will be living first you start out with like little mobile homes such as like you would see here these little homes and like as you urbanize more and become bigger and more population you grow more into like apartment buildings i have a I've even like populated my people, built this bridge over to this side of town where I have the richer people, in the mansions. And how you determine which people live where is by how much, how many attractions you have, so how much it raises the land value. So if you have over here, I did it purposefully where I put in nice parks and such to raise the land value a lot, so I would have rich people living there. And over here, I have more of my medium class and a little bit of a lower class because you gotta balance is the key and you gotta balance out everything in this from there you have your shopping district which I have here obviously you see everything from gas stations to Taco Bells, Burger Kings, whatever you wanna call them my sims like to do their shopping here you know buy new clothes for their sim closets, they buy new food for, for so they can eat right now they have a grocery store right here I believe yep because it's called food you know Bistro 401k. Over here, up here I have a little bit more residential because people, residential I feel like is the most important because everybody's just constantly trying to move in. Over here I have the uh, industrial sites and this is where people get jobs mostly, more blue collar jobs down here. And yeah, you just got to keep your people employed and this keeps the city building but you also got to watch out because this creates pollution and that leads into another good part of this game they have all these graphs so you can check everything these data maps from your population to happiness to waters to, to oh shoot these guys polluted water over here I need to work on that shit didn't even see that see that's why I need these maps right here they tell you everything you got sewage you can see where your sewage is going through um Right now, I don't have any good any pollution, so that's great. I even have a crime map, really pretty good on crime. I have pretty good police department right here, which takes care of most of the crime. And um, you also have what I think is important, one that people probably don't look at that much, is the wind map, which tells you which way the wind is going. So the pollution that is created is blown in that general direction. So that's why I kind of built my residentials only to here because nobody wants to live somewhere where there's shit being flown through the air. Like you don't want to step outside of your house and see smog everywhere. Like choke your choke on it. Like it's no fun, right? And on top of that, you also have um, you need to build basically everything like individually that outside of the zones. Everything from like. Places to make um, the, the city more attractive, like the soccer field, police stations, like, here I'll give you guys a look. Here's some of the things, like, to make your land value go up, you can, like, and just how you choose what type of people you want living there. Like, if you install these, you'll have more 
visitors, like you install the sports places such as basketball courts, tennis places, um, volleyball courts, skate parks. It'll give you more of middle class. But if you go upper class, like plazas, um, such as the small sculpture gardens, the simple walkways, the bigger walkways, and then parks such as these, the fountain parks, they attract more rich people. So that will make your population go up. And as you can see, my population is steadily increasing. I, this is when I had to rebuild my town, so my population sucked ass. I was just a handful of my villagers. And as your population goes up, you just unlock more things. Like, my population has risen to the point where I have a mayor in my town now. I'm trying to figure out where his house is. It was somewhere down here. Here's the mayor's house. He is working at the moment. I have a town hall, which I improved to the city hall, thanks to the, how many people I have here. All of that you build, and you have to make sure you don't have crime, so you build fire stations. They, it shows you how much, they, how much of the area they affect. It shows, I, have a hosp, I have a couple of hospitals, one over here, one over there. What I think is the most important is education, because that gets your people smart. They stop doing stupid things like setting their houses on fire. Having a bunch of uneducated people really just fucking hampers everything. So just try to get your education up if you're playing this game. Right now, I feel like I'm not getting enough water. My water thing is blinking. You can also build many, like, water towers to supply to your people. I'm gonna build another one over here, because too much polluted water. And I'm gonna fix the pollution as well. And build a sewage outflow pipe. I keep it in the, in the industrial areas, so as to not have people's homes be polluted by these nasty sewage pipes like refinery places. I'm just trying to find a good spot. Uh, I'm trying not to like evict too many people by doing this. I guess I'll have to have it here. Whatever. So, you see emergencies happening like fires. You see, um, you can also build like awesome, like spe you can specialize your city. Like I have a, I have a, I have an ore mine right here. Because um, you can check and see I have that, that's how much ore I have underneath so I built it right on top so I could refine as much as I can and that's how you get your income right here which is just constantly going going up if you keep doing well if you don't have enough like jobs for your people it will go down so you have to keep an eye on that you can do drilling tr you can be a trading city this basically just specializes your city to a certain like type of trade you can be an electronic city. I, I would like to do an electronic city down the line because I feel like technology is pretty cool and I would be very welcoming to that. You can do cultural such as an expo center, stadiums. That will attract more tourists. Right now my city has no tourists because I don't really have anything that anybody would want. I, I think I might put in a gambling, a gambling arena somewhere soon along the lines. And yeah, basically the goal is to grow your city till you have like a big metropolis like giant skyscraper empire with lots of people in it right now I only have 13,000 but it's growing I'm getting there I'm gonna be putting in more and my industrial areas are slowly growing like what used to be mobile homes now apartment complexes which makes room for more people my city is just slowly becoming more urban I'm improving my streets so people so they don't get congested that's also that can also can be a problem and you can even once you get to a great point you can put in the great works such as a solar farm, airports, space centers, and archaeology. That's pretty awesome. Like you can just totally specialize your city with like make it unique with that. I plan on putting some of those in. And um, what makes this game also unique and awesome and fun is the fact it's not just that easy. Like you don't you can't just like keep growing because there will be disasters such as monsters. Um, there can also be UFOs, alien, aliens invading. What the hell is this? The hell, what the hell are you guys doing out here, like on your own? Apparently, somebody got a mobile home out here in their fucking own. Whatever. Um. And yeah, there can be zombie apocalypses. Everything like there's germs. I think your people can get sick. That's why you need hospitals. You just gotta maintain a lot of stuff. Make sure your city stays healthy. Make sure your city thrives. Make sure you get that green. Man, honestly, this game is just gets addicting because you just want to keep growing your city and making it better and better. I never thought I was going to like this game this much because I've played games like this. Similar, kind of. More strategy-ish, too, such as Civilization. And none of them have appealed to me as much as this one. 
I honestly am loving my city. B-Town it will be an empire to be reckoned with. And if anybody wants to be my neighbor, we have an open nation, so please come join. I will do trading with you. You can have my ore if you are a good neighbor to me. And that about sums it up. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of it. I'll show you guys a couple more things, such as the government buildings you can build. You can build waste depots. I already showed you guys that. You can build... Oh, this is pretty cool. You can build the uh, different types of transportation. Right now I have a bus station with bus stops. I don't know what the hell's going on in my city. That There's all these sirens going on. Like, What's wrong with you people? What, what, what is happening? Well, whatever. I'll get it figured out. But you can have streetcars, trains, boats, planes. I definitely want to have an airport. You can build a giant airport as well. Like an international one, which is going to be great. I would love to have one of those as part of my empire here. And, yeah, that about sums it up, guys. I hope you guys check, like, my, vid my video and like my city. And if you guys want to see more of this game, I will gladly put out more videos. Show you how my city grows or crumbles, hopefully not. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, man, come on. Where are you going, bro? Just pulling someone over. But yeah, so if you guys want to see it, just let me know, comment, like, and subscribe, of course. Because I will put out the, more videos of this game. But as for now, I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.